Hello guys, uh, today I will be talking about the NVIDIA 2060 card, in particular uh, ASUS 2060 card. I see many people complaining that this card is not that good for mining Ethereum, not that efficient, and I disagree actually. I prefer this card uh, instead of RX 580 for example, and I will show you why. The biggest uh, drawback I saw on the internet is that uh, the power consumption is really bad. These are the default settings for this 2060. So let's try to, to improve this. First, uh, what we can do most easily is to lower the power limit to uh, its minimum that it is allowed. And the card goes to 112 watts, still very hot, and not so good hash rate, 28 mega hash rate. We can do better than that. We don't need to core clock, we can go to minus 502 with this, without any changes in the hash rate. Uh, the power draw is still too large, uh, 117 watts, that is a lot. As you can see, efficiency is not that good. I, I'm happy when I see efficiency above 400 kilohash per watt. So what we can do is to go to Curve Editor and lower uh, the voltage curve. Uh, we select, uh, we can select this end point here, hold control and bring it down below 1100. Set apply. Uh, we lower the core clock now and we just need to select the first one. Now control, we don't need to use control and put it to 1100. 27 and apply. The curve will go flat like this. It's perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about it. Just close the dialog. And now, as you can see, we have 70 watts, 69 watts, still 28 hash rate, and the temperature went way, way down. Now it's time to play with memory. So, usual settings that you can use for 2060 are something around. 1100 megahertz. Let's start with that. This should give around 33 megahertz rate, I think, which is really, really good for this card. Still, as I said, my RX 580 is um, hash between 32 and 33, and from the wall, they use like 120 watts. And uh, this one is 76 watts. We can we can assume that this is pretty much what it draws from the wall, maybe let's say 80 watts, because it's NVIDIA. And have in mind that uh, I have P2 state disabled on this NVIDIA card. So we go to 301, slowly increasing. We are above 400 efficiency, 428 kilohertz per watt. That is really nice. The card is still only 58 degrees. If you want to be able to overclock these cards, keep them below 65. We have 32.56. 33, yeah, as I said, 33. But uh, since I know this is my card and I already played with it, I think we can push it to 34. It's not always stable, but um, it can it can hash 34. And once again, this is ASUS 2016, uh, and it draws uh, 77 watts. That's good. I have other RTX 2060s that are a bit a bit worse when it comes to power consumption. They're around 80, 81 watts, but that's not bad. And efficiency is increasing, over 440 kilohash per watt. Let's see if we can reach the magical number of 34. And uh, 33.78, very close. This is very close. Fingers crossed. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe and like. And here we are, 34.01.
Uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.